Hi everybody, I'm the Krill, and welcome to Would You Rather. Uh, now I've seen a bunch of people playing this game recently, and I thought to myself, Hey, let's jump on the bandwagon. Right? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's a fun little game where you'll get to probably learn a little bit about me, um, but I'll also be able to pose some questions to you guys, uh, and you can feel free to answer them yourselves. Sound good? Cool. Okay. So, would you rather have a slight lisp or have a slight cock eye? Uh, now you guys have probably noticed, I do actually have a little bit of a problem with my speaking. Um, I tend to jumble up my words and fuck up my words and mutter a lot and just, you know. So, I already do sort of have one of those, so I'm gonna just click on that. Wow! Uh, a lot of people would rather have a slight lisp than a cock eye. Would you rather be eaten by a lion or eaten by ants? I now if I'm eaten, if I'm eaten by ants, that's gonna be a really long, slow burn. But if I'm eaten by a lion, it could be ended pretty quickly. And I think if I was gonna be eaten by anything, I'd rather have it ended as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna say lion on that one. And a staggering amount of people agree. Yeah, glad we're on the same page. Uh, would you rather light your hands on fire for a minute, or light your feet on fire for a minute? Feet. Definitely. Like, I just can't stand bad things happening to my hands. Also, you could dance around and make it look really cool. Yeah, so, 65% there. Cool. Would you rather be waterboarded to death, or be electrocuted? Ah, uh, I mean, why are they all so bad though so far? They're all about like dying and stuff. Oh, um. Well, I hate the feeling of not being able to breathe. Like, I really, really hate that. And that's basically what waterboarding would do to you. Like, you would drown eventually, but it's the feeling of not being able to catch your breath. Like, it just makes it seem bearable to me, so I'm going to say electrocuted. Yeah. Yeah. What a buddy to death would be a horrid way to go. Uh, would you rather be Danny Phantom or be Ben 10? Ooh. Ooh. Now, personally, I'd rather be Ben 10. Okay. okay. I'm on the unpopular side there, but alright. Would you rather eat a zombie or be eaten by a zombie? Do I have to do one? Ugh. Oh, I, I hate to be eaten by a zombie, son. Oh, but it'd be all dead right in flesh. I'd rather eat a zombie. Yep. Yeah. It'd be disgusting, but at least I wouldn't be eaten. Like, slowly. Would you rather slam your hand in every door or fall down every flight of stairs? Oh. That's bad. I mean, I've I've done both of those things, and neither was particularly fun. Man, I hate stuff happening to my hands. But if you fell down every flight of stairs, eventually you're gonna break your neck. I think I'd rather slam my hand in every door. That's pretty evenly split, though. Huh? Would you rather skip summer or skip winter? Now, personally, I much prefer warm weather, um, but because I live in the north of England, where there is no hot weather even in summer, I think this summer we had about three days of sunshine, if that. Uh, for me, personally, living here, I'd rather skip summer. But generally, I'd rather skip winter, even though winter has like Christmas and everything, Damn. Um, it's just, it's generally colder, and I don't like that. I prefer, like, hotter climates, so. Uh, I'm gonna go off the fact that where I live, my environment right now, I would rather skip some. It's largely unpopular, but, you know, it's cold here all the time anyway. Like, I'm 
the summer just isn't worth the amount of time you can get, so I would rather have winter. Uh, would you rather have uncontrollable ear hair or uncontrollable nose hair? I think I'm going to say ear hair, because then at least I could grow my actual hair long and just, I don't know, make it work. <laughs> yeah, pe people seem to agree with that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Would you rather eat fruit roll-ups or eat fruit by the foot? What? Eat fruit roll-ups? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Would you rather have everything you touch turn to dust or have everything you touch turn to gold? Ah, now this is really quite a good question. Because it's... I mean, either way, the things that you touch, like... You couldn't touch another person ever again, because they would either turn into dust or turn into gold. Um... Shit. Would I be able to... Does it only work when you touch other people? Or, like, if you, you know, happen to scratch your face one day, would you turn into dust or gold? Like... Oh, generally I think I'd rather have everything I touch turn to gold. Because at least then I could maybe try and make a quick bit of money by just, you know, hey, that's now gold, and then sell it. Wow. Vast majority of people. Who would who would rather have everything they touch turn to dust? Wow. Would you rather never be able to feel emotions or never be able to express emotions? Ah, but it, uh, you see, that's quite good because if you're never able to feel emotions, you're not going to be able, you're not going to be able to express them anyway because you wouldn't feel them. But at least if you felt them but weren't able to express them, like they are still there. Uh, but at the same time, that could get you into as much of a mess in your life as if you weren't even. Uh, I think I'd go with never being able to express them, but still being able to feel them. Because you've got to think about all the good emotions in life. Like, if you weren't even able to feel those, what would be the point? I mean, sure, you wouldn't feel pain and sadness and stuff, but, well, emotional pain, not physical pain. But, you know, they're all part of it. They're all something that make up life something, some philosophical bullshit, I don't know. Uh, you're playing Connect 4 against an emotionally unstable man with an explosive temper. Would you rather take him down or let him win? I don't care if he's emotionally unstable or has an explosive temper. If you play against me, you play to win. So if I play against you, I play to win. So fuck him. Oh, that's pretty even. Why would most people let him win? Come on. Play Connect 4. He knows what he's doing. Would you rather listen to only one song for the rest of your life, or listen to no music for the rest of your life? Life without music would be bullshit, so I'm gonna say listen to one song. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. I know I fucked up that kind of uh, quote there, but I don't care. Would you rather be featured on the show Bridezillas, or be featured on the show What Not To Wear? Well, I think I would... I think I see myself as being a bridezilla. I fully believe that I could be featured on the show What Not To Wear, because I wear some ridiculous shit every now and again. Uh, so I think I'd rather go with that, just because I'm more likely to be on that. Yeah. Yeah. If you had to choose a school for seven years, would you rather attend Hogwarts or attend Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters? Now, the problem here is, is that if I attend Hogwarts, I will actually learn magic, right? But if I attend Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters, it makes no mention of the fact that I have a power. That I have a mutation in some way, shape or form. So I might not learn anything there, I might just get to meet other people that can do 
things. So I think I'd rather attend Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah. I'm right with that, aren't I? Or am I reading too far between the lines? I don't know. Would you rather be a shark or be a dolphin? Dolphin, so I could do flips. I can't do flips, alright? Just can't. I'd like to be able to do flips. I'm talking that weird dolphin language. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Would you rather have hair covering your entire body or be completely bald? I just about don't have hair covering my entire body. But I'd go with that anyway. Wow, really? 76% of people would rather be completely bald than have hair covering their entire body. Wow. And think about it, you'd be like Cousin A, you'd basically just be like a walking... <laughs> a walking coat? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, sorry, I'm still ill by the way. Ah, so sorry about all the really hypersexual noises I'm making with my nose right now. Uh, yeah, I really can't help it. It's just yeah. Would you rather be four feet tall or be ten feet tall? Ah, uh, I I would rather be ten feet tall. I'm closer to four feet than. Yeah, it's fairly evenly split actually. That. I don't know who would rather be four feet tall. I don't know. Uh, would you rather chuck a pint of ocean salt water or chuck a pint of rancid milk? Um. Ah. Afterwards, you cannot immediately chase it with another drink. Savor it. Uh. Now here's the thing, I'm going to go with a pint of rancid milk, purely on this basis. If I chuck a pint of rancid milk, sure, I'll feel pretty sick and stuff, it won't be very pleasant tasting, but if I chuck a pint of ocean salt water, there's a good chance that I will vomit a lot because of the massive dehydration from all that salt water. So a pint of rancid milk, wow, really? And with the rancid milk, you'd just be a little bit ill. Well, it would be quite old, but I mean, salt water. Yeah, a pint of it could be pretty bad. Yeah, no, thank you. If you played football for a living, would you rather play quarterback or play linebacker? Oh, so this is American football. Yeah, because football for me is like what Americans call soccer. But yeah. Um, uh, I'd rather play quarterback. Yeah, yeah, you see? And not for the fact that I'd be like the star player or anything, like, quarterbacks are usually seen as like the leader of the team, or defense, uh, yeah, offensive line anyway. Uh, because they have to memorize all the players and everything, and be able to call them off on the fly and see what they think the tactic should be and everything. Um, but yeah, more for the fact that you can literally just Get the ball, throw the ball, job done. Yeah. Kinda of lazy like that. Would you rather be homeless and hungry but always loved by your perfect partner? Or have a fabulous house and amazing food but never have loved or been loved? Wow. I mean, I'm sorry but I'd rather be hungry and homeless any day and have that perfect love in my life. Yeah. And that's the way that's the way to do it, right? Ah, what's going on? There we go. Would you rather lick peanut butter off of a hobo's foot or lose two hundred and fifty dollars in the stock market? The two hundred and fifty dollars. I would rather lose the two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Would you rather have your name known forever for doing something terrible or never be recognised for accomplishing something wonderful?
Wait, hang on. So, my name would go down in infamy for doing something terrible. But I would never be recognised for actually doing something wonderful. But I will still have done that something wonderful. I'd rather not get the recognition for doing something amazing. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I get the recognition for it, as long as I've done it. And I could safely then say to myself, yes, I did that. Then, yeah, I'd go with that. Definitely. Would you rather have 2 million YouTube subscribers, or have 1 million Twitter followers? That one! Yeah. One day. Would you rather have a high salary in a job you hate, or have a low salary in a job you love? Now, I'm gonna leave you guys to answer that one. Uh, feel free to comment below and let me know which one you would rather have. Uh, and let me know if you'd like to see more of this in the future. I'm more than willing to do more of this because it's quite fun. It's quite cool. Um, and I I get to discuss my answers and you guys get to know a little bit more about me and how like my brain works and everything. So, it's kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you have. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.